Killing Plumkin, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for August 25. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid asset tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And for day only, my code monkey toolkit asset is actually on a flash deal. This is an excellent collection of tools and elements helping make games better and faster. It includes all kinds of tools to make all kinds of games. Each tool has a walkthrough video to teach you how to use it, and also a tutorial video in case you want to learn how it works. Most of these are drag and drop, so if you need things like an input window, if you need to draw a mesh, if you need to do a key door system, if you need an interaction system, if you need a grid system, most of those really just drag and drop and all of a sudden you can make your game prototype much much faster. Like I said, it's on a flash deal for only today, so if you want to get it quickly. And this Unity sale actually has a bonus 10% off if you go for $50. So if you pick up this one and something else, make sure you attach this coupon September 2025 in order to get a bonus 10% off. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a really awesome mini tool for making tune buildings. This one is a procedural tool. So with this you can define the number of floors, you can choose from a whole bunch of colors, then you can also set both day and nighttime. The materials have some nice lights to make it look really cool. The buildings do kind of look like they're somewhere like in New York. At least it seems just like the sound that I see in the movies. So with just this one tool, since it's all dynamic, with just this one you can definitely make a ton of buildings to populate an entire city. Then if you want to play with making 2D games, check out these characters. These have bone-based animations, so if you want to try out some bone-based 2D animation tools, if so then get this and inspect it to see how it works. This one features one goblin and one skeleton, it's a pretty nice design, I quite like it. They each have 5 animations, and if you like this style then there's a full pack with dozens more characters. Next here we have an official Unity free sample, so this one is all about IoT. I have to say that IoT was all the hype just a few years ago, and nowadays I don't think I've heard this word since. So it was pretty surprising to see this sample show up on the asset store. The goal with this project is to showcase how you can integrate a visualization within Unity for basically all of your real life IoT devices. This one has a simulated mode that you can use with some mock data, so you can make sure that it all works, and then of course you can easily swap it to read from actual real world data. This demo showcases some temperature sensors at various points, it can read the air quality, showcase which seat is occupied or free, it can showcase the light levels and a bunch more, so if you'd like to do some research on IoT devices then maybe start with this sample. Then here's a simple but quite useful one, it's a custom toolbar. It basically adds a ton of functionality right in your Unity toolbar, so right next to the play and stop buttons. You've got sliders to control the FPS and timescale, you can take a screenshot, you can manage source control, you can look at various layers, change between the active scene. This is also extendable so you can easily add more elements if you need to. And this is also open source, so there's a GitHub page in case you want to look at the code and see how this all works. Next for a nice visual, here we have a free cartoon city. This one is a very nice pack, I really like this town. It is very cartoony, the cars are all very cute and bubbly. It includes some normal cars, some sports cars and a van. There's also three buildings, all with very unique styles. You've got all kinds of road pieces to make pretty much any city shape you want, as well as a bunch of props. You've got traffic lights, trees and billboards. So yep, if you want to make a game kind of like SimCity, then this pack would be a great starting point. Then for another useful tool, here we have one to help you clean up your projects. This one helps you clean up several things, so for example it helps you automatically clean up empty folders, then it safely deletes unused assets to keep your project nice and clean. It also has a dry run mode, meaning first it only shows you what it finds and only after you confirm does it actually delete anything. You can select exactly what files you want to delete, you can search and filter. So yep, if you tend to let your project get really messy, then a tool like this can really help get you back on track. Next for another nice visual, here we have some pixel art mountains. If you want to make a side scrolling game then this is pretty much all you need. You have all kinds of terrain shapes to make platforms and slopes. There are props to make your game really come alive, you can add some barrels, some flowers, some trees and some houses to your levels. The whole thing is in a nice pixel art art style. Using all these pieces you can make pretty much any world you want, and it even includes multiple backgrounds so you can add a fun parallax effect. Then if you're making a game with mages, here is a nice mage animation pack. It's a nice free pack with a bunch of humanoid animations. In total you've got 9 animations, so you've got for example a power up, there's one throwing a disc, you can do a high spell or a super blast, so a pretty nice free animation pack. Then for something that I don't normally cover in these lists, here are some sound effects. I normally don't pick sound effects on this list just because usually I don't include sound, but just remember how the S-Sword does have sound effects in music, both free and paid, so definitely make sure you use those in your own games. And then if you want a fun drone companion, if so here's a nice model. It's a sort of robot hummingbird, it looks quite nice, the wings move very fast. So this one here, this one could be a companion, or perhaps it could be some kind of flying enemy, or maybe some kind of drone. Alright so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for August 25. There's links all in the description, and also check out my own free and pedestal on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. 
Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.